Intricacy is sort of a, my default. I'm sort of a detail-oriented person. Um, I like visual interest, and so the combination of it's something I'm playing with. How big is the scale versus how much detail is there? Because a lot of what I'm looking for, sort of like in a procedural way, in terms of the way that someone interacts with the work, is that they. I want to sort of sustain a suspended mode of seeing, so that you don't quite know what you're getting. So for me, in terms of scale, it's like, do you get how close do you get in? And when you get in, if you see something that makes sense, then you're following it to something that doesn't quite make sense. And so maybe you step back some more. So you just stay in this mode of not quite knowing what you're looking at. So scale has kind of been a, an interesting thing to play with. What I appreciate about visual art is that it is com communicative, that you're communicating something, and that you're also processing something which is important for you. But it happens in a way that doesn't quite happen when we're dialoguing with someone or when we're thinking to ourselves. Uh, visual language and visual practice, in my experience, reveal things to me about my own experience and about myself. So I take the position that I'm understanding myself a little more by analyzing my work after I've made it as opposed to um, coming in with a fully formed idea and then saying, here's, here's what it is that I'm talking about. Yeah, it's difficult. I don't even feel like I'm the one who made the paintings after they're done. I think I really just like making it. I like distorting things digitally. There's a kind of, I'm excited when I'm doing that. The painting is a different sort of thing, you know, more physical, um, but I can sort of get lost in there. Uh, it's really at no point. It's only when I get, I think the most satisfying thing is when I know the next thing I'm gonna paint. There's a kind of magic in the process uh, that has a meaning for me, uh, and I often just struggle with how reductive sometimes communication of words is. Trusting the process, my own creative process, allowing that to emerge and be shaped by opinions that differ from mine or that feel restrictive um, allows me to preserve the joy of creativity and then also just to be a more, a more mature human being and say, if someone disagrees or they have an opinion, I can say, thank you, I appreciate that. I'll think about that, <laughs> take into consideration, but know that whatever is going on, it's sort of out of everyone's control. And so about all of our drive to know doesn't really amount to a whole lot when it comes to someone's creative practice. In the, the painting practice, trying to connect people to something that is uh, in, inherent in our experience in terms of uh, just thinking about perception, <laughs> uh, which is why often people stay in that sort of liminal state uh, when you're dealing with painting, so they might become a little more aware, make a little more space for being aware of seeing, um, which to me has a really you know, uh, fascinating relationship to the way that uh, images frame and structure our understanding of the world. So the show that's up right now in the studio gallery is my thesis exhibition, um, which is sort of your capstone, one of the capstone requirements for the three-year program here. Uh, just showcasing whatever your, your, your body of work is at the end of your degree, completing your degree. Um, it also is sort of the culmination conceptually for me. A lot of things have come together in the last year, uh, in the last six months, in a surprising way. and. Uh, Appreciate the opportunity to show it to everyone.